This exhibition kind of extends my interest in what could be a, a contemporary abstraction and in a way it's a sidestep towards reconsidering what the materials should be and how they, what they are operating in relation to. So in the past, and I still continue, I, I'm often using certain uh, forms and color together. In this case, there's the introduction of light in, in relation to the fundamental form of advanced production. This is a beginning of something new, an experiment. It's the start of a, a new series of, a new way of thinking, and that's what you see. In the last few years, I worked on quite a lot of big exhibition projects where I was, my artwork was in a way thinking about entire spaces, including an, an exhibition on the Bauhaus in Nuremberg, a big exhibition on color in Bonn, and then finally this year, a project at the Pergamon Museum in Berlin. And in each case, I had to, I wanted to deal with questions of um, display and illumination and so on. The question for me is then, what do I do with this new discoveries, these new shifts in my work that are really technical, that are to do with knowing a bit more about what is possible and what can be done with light and with uh, certain techniques and this exhibition is very much it kind of it turns a corner because it brings that sensibility from creating large institutional projects into the gallery or into the artwork it kind of literally like condenses the idea it sucks it in and produces a kind of pure representation of it So this is a beginning of something that is a shift into accepting um, something to do with what we would call kind of affect or the emotive power of light. The color system I use in my work all the time was developed in the 1920s in Germany. I became more and more interested in my research in the last year into other systems developed at that time and one of them that's important for me are called isotypes and they were developed by two people in order to express complex data in a more simple form a series of pictograms that somehow we could use to talk about industrial production uh, social demographics and so on so in the process of doing these new works, I was also thinking about how would, could you come up with a new set of abstract symbols that would somehow represent um, forms of advanced production today that are much more difficult to picture in a simple form. So what you see in the exhibition here is these first set of seven squiggles produced by my hands on the tablet while I'm planning the exhibition. So a bit like when you're writing something and you start making little shapes. They're kind of a standard, but they represent the potential of symbols that could exist. The key thing about all of that relates to the title, which is in the original isotypes, um, there was always someone, a figure, a person, who would translate complex data into simple form. And that person was called the transformer. In this case, I'm calling it the alterant. So it's got quite a complex commentary upon the position of the artist in relation to all these things. I'm always more interested in, I always start by considering the exhibition as a form, not as, I don't think about individual artworks. I think about the whole space and model that whole space. And during that process, that's when I'm thinking and researching and drawing and playing with ideas. This exhibition is quite influenced by some philosophical writing by a man called Yuk Hui, and he's trying to look at questions of the philosophy of technology. And one of the things that he's really convinced about is you need to have 
in a sense of philosophical diversity in the same way you might in social life. Because for him, just relying on the um, old Western ancient mathematical principles is not enough today to try and understand things like nanotechnology and uh, quantum effects and super advanced production. So I'm not looking to resolve anything, to find any purity, I'm looking to introduce new layers on top often. And that's what you see in the exhibition. It's a sequence of thought processes that are brought together in a kind of conversation with each other. And that conversation will develop and continue and shift and alter. The exhibition produces ideas, it's not the end point of ideas. So especially here, at the gallery, this exhibition is, is, is affecting me. It's not just something I'm presenting to the world, it's the other way around. It's also, I have to now think again about the next step.